the extras. In this quick video, I'm going to show you, well, reasonably quick video anyway, I'm going to show you the way of creating unusual video effects in Photoshop using a custom shape. Right, just going to go over here, custom shape, I'm just going to apply it, custom shape, and it's just a default shape layer. And once I've done that, I can actually go over to a layer, layer style, and the key thing in this video is just to create a, a gradient overlay. Now I'm not going to go with the default one, I'm just going to go for maybe that one, nice colourful one. I'm just going to go for the angle option, because basically I want to change the position of that start point there and put it down here in a timeline. Right, so I've done that. Now I'm just quickly going to go over to Window, Timeline, Create Video Timeline, just get rid of that and you'll see when you've done that you can actually see style down there so i'm just going to reduce the size i don't want it to be too long i'm just going to just do it very very quick so it's in this video otherwise it takes forever to process but in a tutorial so i'm just going to select that just click that little timer there now i'm just going to go over to the far point and i'm just going to go over to Layer, layer, style again, gradient overlay, and I'm going to change the angle. I'm just going to go away, all the way around to uh, just about there. Okay, click OK. Now, just quickly go back and forth. You can actually see that just moves very quick back and forth. Now, I'm just going to that. I'm just going to now go to Alt. Just hold the Alt key down. I'm going to duplicate this part. Actually, I'll resize it a little bit, I think, just so I can actually create a few more. Alt, hold that down. That down. That one. And just going to create a few. That's enough. But obviously, you could fill the document with hundreds if you wish. Obviously, depending on how long you want to uh, take for processing the effect. Right. Now you've done, I've done that. Just going to. Now I go all the way down, I'm going to select all of them. And they've all got now every single one have got the same obviously same sequence of the style. So you've it's running through all the way from the top all the way to the bottom for each and every one of them. Just going to go now to a layer, smart objects, convert to smart object. Now the whole thing is being converted into a smart object. And now if I run through this, and I'll just quickly run through it. because you can just see them all moving in sequence. Now, I'm just going to apply a smart filter. And of course I could use any of them, so I'm just but I'm just going to go for distort wave. I could go for twirl or many others. So I'm just going to select that one, click OK. It will just process all the way through this. Now, I can just run through it. It will take a little bit of time to process and obviously it's not actually going to be instantaneous but uh, it basically processes every single frame of this so you can see it slowly changing when it hits the end it'll have to process all the others anyway that's basically a quick way of creating quite interesting sort of visual effects. Now you could of course use uh, not just that filter, there's other filters as well, of course there's a vast range of different filters in Photoshop, and you of course could use other styles. You don't have to use the gradient style, the gradient style is one that certainly, and of course you could use different gradients as well. So there's a whole range of different things. Now it's just about finishing the process and doing this, and it's quicker actually when it's not running as a tutorial. Tutorials are always are much slower than doing the actual normally. So it's just virtually there now and you'll be able to see it run through each of the steps. And of course this animation will just continue on. And you could create obviously more shapes than just a couple of shapes. You could create maybe create hundred shapes. Anyway, it's just going now. So it just and it gets smoother as it uh, processes it's got completed its and of course, you could also apply maybe different blending modes. You don't have to continue with the same uh, blending mode. Maybe 
put uh, difference or darken and so on so it all sort of smoothly 